Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to another Superstar Partyplex game. This one is called Security Clearance. I am Zen, and I am your DM for the day. If everyone else wants to go introduce themselves and the character they're playing top to bottom. Oh, hi. Hi, hello, I am VB, vegan of the bears, and today I am playing everyone's favorite security guard, uh, party plex employee, Benjamin Sickle. Hi, I'm Sim. I'm going to be playing our local failure love baby. <laughs> That's a terrible way of explaining it. <laughs> Boy failure, I guess. Um, Eli Elijah Mallory. Hi, I'm MJ, and I'll be playing Harley Quinnette. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Understandable. <laughs> we know Harley Quinnette I'm, by now. I'm... Sorry. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to type a thing, but also, uh, hi, I'm Tired Penguin. You can call me Pengu because that is my name and I exist. I'm playing Kestrel Tombs, a very upset bird, man. <laughs> Understandable. That's me. He hasn't even been through any shenanigans yet, and he's already upset. <laughs> That's just his default state. Natural state of being. He's got a resting, I can't say that word, but you know, resting <laughs> B-word face. <laughs> resting bird face. <laughs> you know that word? Yes. Resting, resting bird, bird face. face. That's his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um our game takes place in the partyplex. Big shocker there. Um it no, is Really? I know. I'm astounded. <laughs> I never set games in the partyplex in the partyplex server. Uh <laughs> oh. Um but yeah, it is after hours, the party flex closed uh, a little while ago, maybe an hour or so. Uh, but you have all been asked to stay back for some security training. So you find yourselves in uh, one of the employee break rooms in the party plex, uh, probably sitting at some various tables uh, because security officer Bailey is supposed to be giving you some training tonight. So, um, my can dumbass. I, can I say that Kestrel's like the first <laughs> Go ahead. Can I say that Kestrel's like the first person there because he feels like the guy who'd be like 10 minutes early to everything. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> He's sitting at the feel... table in the break room. <laughs> Elijah is like the second earliest person there, mainly because they're used to sleeping in the closet. Um, <laughs> but My they're just buddy. they kind of uh, shuffled in here a little while ago. They're not sitting, but they're kind of like stood up in the corner, just kind of leaned up uh, leaned up against it and kind of staring at their hands while they're fiddling with them. You hear the door mm. creak open and in comes Harley Quinnette. They wander over to the table, sit down, fold their hands, and then just immediately start just blatantly staring at you. Okay. Eli, like, glances up a couple times, but is, like, aggressively avoiding eye contact. <laughs> and then just, like, it's like, Harley's face is just, like, a blank smile right now. You can just see that their pupils are directed at you. Kestrel Hi. does a bit of a double take looking at the clown. <laughs> the clown. <laughs> Just does a bit of a double take. Harley breaks eye contact with uh, Elijah for a second just to look over and wave politely. <laughs> he squints at you. I want to say that for my introduction into the room, you all hear some sort of scratching, maybe a little bit of something, and then you hear a very loud <laughs> as the the table right smack in the middle, you see a flash of feathers, an explosion of feathers and cards as Benjamin uh falls from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. 
<laughs> he, he like kind of well, leans over and just sort of looks and is like, are you all right? <laughs> uh, Astro is immediately on alert. <laughs> Benjamin kind of stands up, uh, brushes himself off, and is just like, yep, never better. Looks around and starts... It looks at all the cards, the Yu-Gi-Oh, the Pokemon cards, the Uno cards, the regular deck of cards, and like, oops, got those. And he just kind of starts scrambling to pick as many of those up as he can. Is is there a hole through the ceiling where you came through? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Kestrel just looks at you, looks at the hole in the ceiling, looks at you, looks at the hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Well, I imagine it's like those those like foam drop tiles that every like corporate setting has. So just like one of yes. those snapped in half and crumbled, and <laughs> Benji fell through. <laughs> no, that's absolutely my, what I was thinking of. Yes, my mom has a corporate job. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Eli picks up the, the pieces of the foam and just starts trying to put them back together. <laughs> <laughs> my Harley Quinn uh, comes over and just sort of like peers at the situation <laughs> and just, just like looks up into the ceiling and like I think they stand on a table to peer in to the hole just to see what <laughs> if they can gleam just what Benji was doing up there hey careful you almost stepped on me why <laughs> did you fall through the ceiling Benjamin just kind of and so I had to look at Castro and it's like, ah, you must be new here. Completely ignoring the question. I, yes. <laughs> Why? Yes, I'm Oh, it's so here. delightful to see another bird around here. Oh, how are you doing? I, I, asking if I'm new here. <laughs> Castro. Oh, lovely name, Castro. And, He's kind of, like, sticking his hand out to shake. Kestrel very reluctantly shakes your hand. There's a bit of a ding-dong, ding-dong cowbell sound as he gives it a shake, but he doesn't have a very strong grip. Uh, I imagine that <laughs> Kestrel's hand just completely engulfs Benji's. Absolutely. Kestrel is built like a brick house. <laughs> and Benjamin's itty pity, so... <laughs> <laughs> Castro just reluctantly shakes your hand and is just staring at you. Ah. So you're probably wondering what I was doing up in the ceiling. Yes, that's why I asked more. why you felt I was wondering more how you made that noise of your arm. <laughs> what noise? The you know, rattling. Just stops talking. <laughs> ah. Aw. Well, you see, I don't really have a good story for why I was up in the ceiling. I think I was trying to find my way here and I took a wrong turn. How do you <laughs> Harley Quinnette, who had, had, had been stuck for the ceiling, crouches down and just stares at you with a questioning look like, and somehow wound up in the ceiling. Listen, the party plex is confusing! So they just turn their head farther than would be humanly possible. <laughs> Estral stares at that. You need better maps, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Eli nods a little bit in agreement. Is the structure could be a bit confusing at times, <laughs> and I'm used to confusing. Well, just going back to the joke I had before we started recording about the party plex being like CGI, like the actual game. Do you think its maps are actually like low resolution? <laughs> <laughs> With no labels? <laughs> <laughs> they do have maps, the maps are just bad. <laughs> <laughs> they do have the map bots. Kestrel has definitely already sought out a map bot specifically to grab a map. And just, it's bad. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Benji is also just stupid, so combination of bad map and stupidity is how he wound up in the fucking ceiling of all places. He clipped through the floor somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>
honestly, I have no idea how it happened, but I was happily walking through the stairs, then one of the stairs gave out beneath me, and I somehow ended up between the stairs and the basement. It wasn't even a broken stair, I just, I, I don't know, I just kind of faced through it, no idea how that happened. Wait, am I dead? Am I a ghost? <laughs> I think Harley leans over and just like <laughs> squints at you, looks you up and down, and then shakes the head. Oh. You don't know that. He just kind of taps uh, Harley Quinnette's uh, leg to see if his hand will phase through. Oh, never mind. I don't appear to be dead. Unless you're also dead. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I think that causes Harley to laugh and they like touch their chest and say, Nope, I've got a beating heart in here. You do? <laughs> they just sort of stare at Benji. Most living things have beating hearts, yes. You too? Oh. Yes. Wow. Why is this surprising? Harley <laughs> <laughs> raises their hand and it's just like, just like, I mean, I'm alive and I don't really have a heart. Do, do I mind? Am I dead? I said most living creatures. Oh. They, they lower their hand again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Before this gets too far, uh, the door clicks open uh, again, and security officer Bailey walks in, and someone else following her, who we'll get to in a minute. Um, and she's like, oh, good, you're all already starting to get to know each other. Uh, making friends, I hope? That is a very nice way of putting the interactions that are currently occurring. <laughs> Well, putting a positive spin on things is just the Partyplex way. Who are you? Oh, right. Let me introduce myself. Um, so I'm Security Officer Bailey, and I've been tasked with leading you guys through a little practice security exercise tonight. Wait, is that why we're here? I sure hope so, because that's why I'm here. <laughs> this man fell through the ceiling. I'm not sure he is actually an employee of your security. Of course I'm an employee here. Have you not seen my cool watch? He shows the... Well, it's not really a watch. He's not wearing it properly. He's wearing <laughs> it around his neck. <laughs> like a necklace. God. Official... Wrath watch. Only for the employees. Why are you wearing it around your neck? I think it looks more stylish. That is one word for it. I think Harley just sort of leans close to uh, Kestrel. <clears throat> and like just says, and she is an odd duck. can't believe he's a duck. <laughs> uh, how dare you slander him like this? He's clearly a crow. <laughs> he's not a crow either. What is he? <laughs> what is he? What is I'm he? Full, I'm fully aware of the fact that his ref doesn't actually properly show which species of bird he is. But he is a bird of paradise. <laughs> He's a black sickle bill. Who? Hang on, Fun. I'll pull up a picture, but continue with the uh, with the game. Okay. Yeah, because I immediately went to Google to start looking up birds. <laughs> um, yeah, so Bailey's like, well, it seems you all have met one of our new hires for today. We have Kestrel Toombs joining our security team as a security expert and consultant. So as long as all his onboarding goes well, he should be on track to be 
uh, pretty high up in our security, uh, I, I forgot the fucking word, I don't know the word, um, anyway, uh, as long as either. all of, <laughs> as long as, as long as all of his onboarding and trading goes well, he should be one of our heads of security within the next few months. And then we also have another new security guard joining us for the training tonight. And his name is, um, I'm sorry, it looks like maybe the computer made an error printing out this sheet. This just says Eggs Florentine. Uh, and then the person that followed her in nods and is like, yeah, that's fine. You can just call me Eggs. Hi, hello, nice to meet you, Eggs. He extends his hand towards them as he leads way too far over the table. <laughs> and uh, Eggs sort of leans forward and takes Benji's hand to shake it as well. Uh, nice, Good. nice to meet you, I guess. Nice to meet you too, you may call me Benji. Right, uh, no, nice Benji. to meet you, Benji. Benji is not letting go of his hand, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, looks down at where Benji is grabbing his hand, looks back up at Benji, and is like, Can I have that back, please? <laughs> Maybe, but you'll have to solve my riddle three. Just let go of his hand. <laughs> Every heart really just winds up and scraps him, basically. <laughs> 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 pulls him up and then just like deposit him on the other side. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh no, did I ruin a bit? I can't believe it. Pick that man up like a feral cat. <laughs> no, don't kick me! No, I said pick him up! I don't kick cats! <laughs> you monster! <laughs> I don't kick cats or birds of paradise. <laughs> God damn. Uh, and Officer Bailey's like, uh, so, uh, with that out of the way, I have a couple of things to hand out before we get into it. Um, starting off with browse watches for our two new hires, um, which she hands to Kestrel and Eggs. And then for our training tonight, we will be using uh, handcuffs. They're something the Party Plex is trying out for, you know, detaining suspects and potential threats. Um, and she hands one pair to Kestrel and one pair to Harlequinette, and the rest of you don't get any. You haven't proven yourselves <laughs> trustworthy. Okay. Not trusted with the handcuffs. Okay, but good call on Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Benji Kesh immediately Kesh handcuffs does... himself. <laughs> he would, he would. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he Kesh does uh, not does get raise any. an eyebrow a little bit. Uh, also, Kestrel, Kestrel I just a little curious. Yeah. I just imagine yeah. like silently behind Kestrel, Eli is like slowly inching a little bit closer because he like something that Eli could trust. <laughs> And not be punched. <laughs> Kestrel has noticed. Kestrel doesn't say anything about it yet because he is just trying to do his job. <laughs> he puts the watch on his wrist, Benji. <laughs> Benji's not paying attention, nor does he care where the hell you're putting your fucking watch. <laughs> like to imagine, like, Harley, when they get the handcuffs, like, does, like, you know, like, puts their finger through one of the loops and like kind of spins it around before like tossing it up, catching it again, and then it just disappears. <laughs> Understandable. Fair enough. Uh yeah. Alright, so with that handled, I think we are about ready to get started on our training for the night. Um, so the first thing 
we should really cover is the security offices and camera usage. So, if you'll all follow me, I'll be taking you to the nearest security room so that you can get familiar with how they work. Um, oh. And she opens the door and gestures for everyone to, you know, file out of the room and follow her. Yeah, yippee. Yippee. Benjamin just kind of rolls off the table, stands up back into frame as he just kind of like follows behind Bailey. He might as well join in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's probably supposed to be here. If he's... All the employees have to get this training at some point. Might as well get it now. Um, so yeah, Bailey will lead everyone on a short walk through the utility tunnels to a nearby uh, security office, which is a little bit cramped with six people in it. But, uh, you know, small room, a lot of computer monitors, uh, heavy steel security door rolling office chair you know Ooh. rolling office chair uh oh <laughs> benji <laughs> benji's gonna hop onto it like a little kid and just kind of like he's standing on the seat and he's holding on to the back as it just like turns around to face the rest of the party uh. kestrel is going to lean to bailey i think and be like are you sure this is one of your employees Honestly, I think Bailey is, like, giggling watching Benji do this. Like, <laughs> Kestrel is appalled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kid cloth he's... Bailey is a professional so far. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, oh, yeah, he's he's on the employee schedule and everything. Apparently. Delightful. You got put on there at some point, buddy. You you didn't apply, but you sure got hired. He didn't even apply. No, he didn't get Is officially that being hired. said out loud? No. This is me talking okay. out of character. I only can do so many voices. Okay. okay. No, you're fair. Understandable. Look past the non-voice actor, sure. <laughs> uh. So once once Benji's chair has sort of come to a stop, Bailey steps forward, uh, and is like, "So, uh, these security rooms are the best place to monitor the various security cameras we have around the Partyplex and keep an eye on things. Um, you use this keyboard and mouse to sort of control which cameras you're looking at on the monitors up here, and you can compare them with the map on your Rouse watch to double check what part of the building that they are in. Um, Ooh. What dice bot does the server use? <laughs> it's slash R to roll. Okay. Sorry. What are you rolling for? Just the hammer space. Kestrel's just gonna take out a notebook and start taking notes because he's a professional. <laughs> Understandable. He has a he has a little notebook and he is taking notes. Eli is like looking at all of the monitors and just seeing if there's anything that catches their eye. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now after hours, it's mostly showing a lot of uh, empty rooms with like half the lights turned on. A lot of staff bots sweeping up. Um, so nothing too interesting. But uh, right. Bailey will say, All right, so I want you all to get a little practice using the cameras. So if everyone can take a turn and try to pull up the cameras for the area I tell you, um, who wants to go first? Really <laughs> 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 Three different people raise their hands. <laughs> I like to imagine all three characters started going towards it and then just stopped. It's like John. Uh, how about Kinnett, like glances between the two and then just like gestures their hand like to let the others go first. Actually, Harley Quinn, I was thinking it might be back. best for you to go first since you're already the most familiar with the system. You can show them how it's done. Her and nods. <laughs> so they go up and use the computer. Yeah, I won't even make Harley Quinnette roll for it because they worked here for a while. Uh, yeah, but Bailey's I mean, they like, used it without problems last time. Yeah, 
So Bailey's like, all oh, right, so pull up the cameras for the first floor main kitchen. Uh, and Harley Quinn can just do that. Yep. Sure is a kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's some staff <laughs> I guess we could say, like, Sonora is in there just munching down on something. <laughs> Honestly, yes. There's, like, staff bots cleaning up the spent food for the day and Senora making more of a mess right behind them. <laughs> That's okay. Senora beloved. Mm -hmm. Okay, I she probably isn't supposed to be back there, but I'm leading this session, so we'll worry about that another time. Um, who wants to go next? Benji raises his hand again. All right, Benji. I want you to try pulling up the cameras for the West Arcade. On the Razwatch or on the on the monitors for the security uh security room. Benjamin with a squeak 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 tries to getting the chair closer to the monitors <laughs> without getting off. And then <laughs> like you're uh, when when you get closer, you're gonna roll uh, an intelligence check to try and get the cameras working. Oh boy, his zero intelligence being put to the test. <laughs> Nine. Zero. I just want you to know Harley Quinn yeah. has summoned pop. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of slaps his hand onto the board. Yeah, with a nine, you wind up pulling up the camera for, like, the daycare instead, and, like, Jackie's in there tidying up, and, uh, Bailey's like, no, I'm, I'm afraid that's not it, uh, someone else wanna try? Do I not he get a second slowly. try? <laughs> I mean, he you can slowly try. raises their hand back there. You can try again if you'd like. I want to try again, and he's going to just kind of slap his hand onto the keyboard again. <laughs> you might want to be a little more careful than that. Damn. Kestrel isn't even taking notes, because he would take notes of this is what you're not supposed to do, but he already knows that. <laughs> Benji, the face of what not to do. <laughs> uh, feel free to pull his chair back so he stops slapping the board. Yeah, Is he rolling again? Or... Gently pulls the chair sure. away. I mean, I can roll again if you want me to. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. They're still gonna roll be... as you're being pulled away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Eleven, I think you get, like, the doorway into the West Arcade and Belius like... Well, that's good enough for now. Uh, someone else? <laughs> Eli is kind of raising their hand like, hi. Uh, Eli, come on up and see if you can pull up the cameras for Senora Speedway. Eli uh, kind of leans over the computer, careful not to bump into Benji on accident. And... Ooh, that is a... Oh wait, it's intelligence, my bad. Uh said so I was a fourteen plus oh okay. Intelligence seventeen. Nice. Very nice. Good job, Eli. Good job, Eli. They did it. Yay! Mm -hmm. So yeah, Eli successfully pulls up the cameras for the Senora Speedway, which uh, is an indoor uh, go-kart track. Eli grins, and they're just like, yee! <laughs> they're so happy with themselves. Aww. 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 Finally, they did something <laughs> right. <laughs> Good job, Eli. <laughs> they did it. It's a little Kestrel. thing. Cool. 
Kestrel, who already considers himself the smartest person in this room, is impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kestrel. All right. Well done, Eli. Um, so, who's next? It's just Kestrel and eggs left, right? Yeah. If Kestrel yeah. wants to go last, I'll have eggs volunteer, but... Yeah, Kestrel isn't going to raise, gonna his, raise hand his hand. But... Uh, I guess that leaves me, then. Uh, and Egg sort of walks up to the controls to... Uh, you know. Try and find the... I didn't give him a room to find. Hang on. Uh, so he was like... <laughs> Okay, eggs. Um, let's see. How about you find the prize counter? Um, you can see Harley Quinnette perk up at that. <laughs> uh, and eggs nods and he's like, uh, right, the prize counter. Uh, let's see. Nine. Yeah. No, I think he pulls up the correct arcade, but not the prize counter specifically. Uh, he's like, well, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Uh, he's like, not exactly. Want to try that one again? And I'm just role-playing with myself right now. This is the awkward <laughs> part about having so many goddamn characters in this goddamn server. Twelve. Well, that's understandable. Um, so yeah, after pushing a few more buttons, uh, Eggs manages to find the prize corner specifically. Bailey's like, yeah, you got it. I think that I just... a polite clap. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, good job. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I think that just leaves you, Castro. Uh, come on up. Let's see if you can find... Hmm, I want to give you a hard one, because you're supposed to be, like, an expert with the security stuff. Um, hmm. Kestrel tucks his little notebook back into his, back into his suit. Yeah, that's how suits work. Mm -hmm. And he's just... <laughs> uh, how about... Just waiting for instruction. Yeah. How about <laughs> you pull up the cameras on the dance floor? He's, the chair isn't there because Benji's hogging it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Kestrel Sorry, does Kestrel. have to lean down. Kestrel does have to lean down for the keyboard. Uh, Just do a little squat. Is <laughs> it's okay. Six! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! What does he pull up instead? Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. I, I feel like maybe that's uh, part of the West... I don't even think that's in the West Arcade. I think you're in Archie Golf, maybe. And Bailey is like, oh, yeah, that's not it. Uh, Maybe give it another try? Kestrel is already trying again. He's not even going to wait for an invitation to try again. <laughs> He's like, nope, like gotta fix this. <laughs> gotta fix this now. Okay, there you go. 20, there you go, dirty 20. Dirty 20. So. Just a fluke, just a fluke. Yeah, you get like yeah, the yeah, like... best camera angle on the dance floor. You can see the DJ's stage, you can see the dance floor, you can see all the doors. Great work. And, and Bailey will say as much. She's like, that's more like it. Great job. <laughs> He does give a little satisfied nod with the, uh, as if nothing, as if that mistake didn't happen before. Just a satisfied <laughs> nod. Nothing else is wrong. Nothing happened. All Everything right. is right. <laughs> All right. Everything is right. So, uh, now that you're sort of more acquainted with the camera system, I think we can get into the main exercise for tonight. Um, so... Following recent events, Partyplex management wants to make sure that all staff are prepared for how to handle a missing child event. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight is a simulation of an event like that. Um, I will be 
sort of taking on the role of the lost child, and you're going to have oh, to try. Oh, I that role. Uh, well, you wouldn't really get much out of seeking the child. You wouldn't really get much out of the training for how to find a lost child if you're playing the lost child, but I'll put you down for some future trainings if we ever need someone else to take on the role, okay? Okay. Veggie has stars in his eyes. He's excited for future roles <laughs> as the lost Kestrel child. Is... Kestrel is politely raising his hand. He has a question. Uh, Kestrel, what is it? Yes. How was this bird hired? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not in charge of hiring. My theory is that he just showed up. You just you don't get a job just by showing. <laughs> well, that's how I got half my job. <laughs> Eli looks at Benji is like, "Stay here." <laughs> What did you say? Same here. <laughs> yeah, un understandable. Uh, he probably only had like three jobs before this, which is which isn't exactly half, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think Ix yes. will chime in. He's like, "Hey, you can't under you can't underestimate the power of just showing up to places and asking for a job. It works." A surprising amount of the time. That works fine for waitering positions and low p and low stakes positions, but this is security. I mean, everyone has to get into the security field in some in some way, right? It's not like they're not training him. <laughs> Probably sort of looks over. Him. And says, technically, uh, these two are more general staff who are just getting security training. So I don't think they necessarily need to be as highly qualified, but certainly it will improve things if they get a little bit smarter about it. There is nowhere Perhaps to go after we find this pretend lost child, we can go over how to successfully tie a rope. You <laughs> <He>, like <laughs> bristles at the comment in his wing. <laughs> they kind of mutter to themselves, just go, how stay. <laughs> and that's why we have the handcuffs now. Hopefully a little bit more foolproof in case something like that ever happens again. Eli is just fully like slinking into themselves now, and just like. God damn. Oh, so I think I Man. spoke over Kestrel, so. I. If that was just now, all I said was man. <laughs> Man. Man. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so any other questions before I give you guys the full scenario and you get started? Nope. Okay. Great. So, uh, uh, let me kick things off. Um, and she pulls out, like, a clipboard with some notes on it. Uh, so for tonight's exercise, uh, you will be looking for a missing child uh, named, I didn't come up with a name ahead of time, uh, a missing child named Amanda, who went into the blast off laser tag arena with a birthday party and then didn't come out with the rest of her party. So it is your job to try to find her and bring her back to the entrance to the laser tag arena safely. Um, of course, we don't have an actual child on the premises, so you'll be looking for me, and I'll be playing the role of the lost child. Um, so give me like five minutes to go set up, and then uh, come on looking. I'll give you a call over your Raz watch when it's time to start, okay?
Yeah, you're gonna get a thumbs up from Benji. Like, yep, understood all of that. Nice Q nods. Castrol also nods. Eli is still a little bit mopey at the moment, so they're just kind of like nodding a little bit shakily. Aww. Yeah, and eggs will nod along Eli. too. Uh, and Billy's like. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go get all set up, and good luck, everyone. And heads out. So you have a few minutes in the security room before the exercise starts proper. If you want to do anything, Benji is instantly scooting closer to the uh, keyboard again to try and slap it a few more times. <laughs> Eli is sort of like m looking at how Benji's standing on the chair. He's like, that's like a danger, like a hazard, don't you think? Buddy, I am danger, and he's gonna give the keyboard another slap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think X is like, it's fine, he'll figure it out. It might be when he falls on his face, but he'll figure it out. I'd rather not deal with a concussion tonight. <laughs> it's fine. He can't get a concussion if he has no brain. <laughs> <laughs> that that gets a chuckle out of Kestrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very small chuckle, but it's a chuckle. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Benji is gonna continue slapping the keyboard. Eventually, at some point, the slapping evolves into poking at the different buttons. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I just imagine once again, Eli is moving a little bit closer to Kestrel, and just, this time with more vested interest, and they kind of lean in, and they're like, Are you CEO? Hmm. I asked if they're a CEO. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, Kestr Kestrel does look at you. Again, he has been aware of you creeping up on him, but uh, uh, he raises an eyebrow a little. No, I am simply an employee, sadly. <laughs> Eli looks him up and down and is like, you look like a CEO. I mean, I, I've only met a CEO once, but you look a lot like one. <laughs> he adjusts his bow tie a little. I believe it's important to prof to dress professionally, no matter the job. <laughs> he, like, kind of tries to mimic his stature. He's like, yeah, right. Uh, professional is best. <laughs> that, oh. That that gets a tiny little smile out of Kestrel. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Kestrel can smile? You... Wow. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Only a little, little professional smiles. This is a small one. It's a treat. Well, I'm still surprised he can do that. <laughs> Understandable. But, yeah. Eli is endearing so far. And Eli did a good job. And Eli isn't standing on chairs or falling out of ceilings. Actually, I'm gonna... Just because you say that, I'm gonna make a dex check for Benji. Good. <laughs> uh, what's your dex, little man? I like to imagine how he's just observing the scene. Oh, shoot. Same Hang for on. Eggs. He's just, like, in a corner watching all this. Like they're just both standing in corners. Dirty 20, he's still on the chair. Wow, somehow. I imagine he, the chair kind of starts rotating and he's kind of like spinning around with the chair undisturbed. <laughs> you blink and suddenly the chair's like at an angle and Benjamin's somehow perfectly balancing on it. Castrol sees that, he just sighs. <laughs> yes, professionalism is important. 
for any job. Even Despite here? some people not holding that virtue. Yes. Even here. I want to say that Harley Quinnette uses an invisible mage hand to just like suddenly violently spin the chair. <laughs> <laughs> it just becomes a whirlwind. <laughs> oh, I realized Kestrel. Kestrel does have a. Kestrel is curious because, like, Bailey said that Harley Quinnette would likely be the best at the security cameras thing. Kestrel is curious about that. I'm not sure if he's gonna ask uh, HQ, but H HQ is getting studied just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I think HQ manages to catch the staring out of the corner of their eye, and they just suddenly like snap their head over to look at Kestrel and then wave again. You know, one of those little danky waves that's just like, oh, the fingers. Yes. Kestrel doesn't wave back, I'm sorry. <laughs> he left you hanging. He left you hanging. God damn. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. It's oh, him. he looks wonderful. It's, it's him. Me too. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm. I thought Crenette was also the only other person trusted with handcuffs besides Kestrel. <laughs> yeah, Kestrel's also intrigued by that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have been imagining them first of all, like one of those little plastic handcuffs they are given out at the as prizes. I doubt that they're going to be that weak, but they're oh. probably metal ones, but what makes it funnier to me is that I imagine them still to be, like, party flex themed, so you have, like, razzy handcuffs or <laughs> your handcuffs. Yeah. Actually, as you bring it up, I'm thinking, Kestrel. what if it's that, like, rainbow dyed metal? Yeah. yeah. Kestrel yeah. hates it. He uh, they got hates little LEDs it. in them. <laughs> Oh, Kestrel hates it! He hates it. Oh, I wish I'd known that earlier because I would have had it like, he's just like, what is this? Why are they neon? Why are they glowing? These are supposed to be professional. If, if anything should be up to professional standard, it should be the handcuffs. <laughs> I didn't think of it earlier, but yes. I did want to interrupt what was going on to bring that thought up, but... Iridescent handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Man, Kestrel hates it. <laughs> Imagine when he was handed the handcuffs, he was first, like, you know, like, prim and proper, like, you know, taking them professionally, and then he processed what they looked like in his frown, which is the deepest thing. Yes, the frown deepens as, as the realization sets in. I'm picturing him holding them like at arm's length with two fingers, like it's something disgusting. Yes, <laughs> yes. absolutely. That's why Eli can't be trusted with them because they would immediately try to wear them. Three. <laughs> oh. Benjamin is the same. He would have put it around his neck just to add to his necklace. <laughs> no. no. Alright, well, I think uh, it's at about this point anyway. that everyone's uh, Raz watch buzzes, uh, and you get a little uh, message from Bailey saying, Alright, uh, it's time to start the exercise, so uh, try and find me! <laughs> so! Long sigh from Kestrel. <laughs> Really, immediately so starts heading towards the um, security cams. Benjamin is still spinning in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Really spins it again as they go by. <laughs> Astral is 
also gonna try to use the security cameras because, you know, that's part of their job, while also trying to avoid the the whirling dervish that is Benji. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think for this? Uh, another intelligent role or like a perception? Well, uh... So the earlier roles were just for pulling up cameras in the right section of the party plex, so I'd say it would be intelligence for Kestrel and Harlequin it wouldn't have to roll. Uh, but for trying to spot anything on the cameras, it will be investigation. Uh, can I, uh, can Eli kind of look over their shoulders and try to see if they see anything? Yeah, and Eggs will also be leaning in to look at the monitors. Well, they got a 13 on investigation. Oh! I'm also gonna roll an invest- Wait, should I roll both, like, investigation and intelligence? Well, if Harlequin is running the cameras, you don't have to roll uh, intelligence. Okay. Investigation, then. Oh. What is your investigation? Four. Uh, hey, could someone type- oh wait, never mind, I found a four. The four <laughs> button on my keyboard is broken, so I need to copy-paste any fours. You could write it out uh, as a- oh wait, yeah, six. not for math. Six. Oh boy! So we have a nat one from uh from Eli, double sixes from Kestrel and uh Benji, a thirteen from oh, Benji's not checking. Oh wait, that's different. Oh, that's Constitution saving throw. What is Benji doing? <laughs> Constitution. He's, he's just having fun. Nope. Harlequin has brought him in the chair again when they were passing by. He's still spinning. Uh, and then a uh, 13 from Harlequin at, and then Eggs got a 25. <laughs> so I think, Good, like... Thank you, Eggs. Harlequin at is, like, flicking through cameras, seeing nothing, seeing nothing, seeing nothing. Uh, and then uh, you hear Eggs say, uh, wait, go back to that one. Harley Quinn knows. Uh, and Eggs like scours the screen a little bit before reaching up to point at a little just uh just visible over the top of the edge of one of the laser tag walls is a little uh <laughs> a little uh paper plate with a sad face drawn on it, a little paper pals dummy, uh in the laser tag arena. He's like, I think that's probably what is it. That. <laughs> Harley Quinn nods in agreement this? and starts heading out the door to go to the laser tag arena. Kestrel's gonna follow, but Kestrel's also like, that was a paper plate. <laughs> Eli is also following very close behind. Also wondering the same thing if a child is a paper plate. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Bailey did say they didn't it's... have a real child for this, so. Yeah, I'm only going to say that. They said this is a simulation. Were you expecting her to dress up as a child? I was I expecting know, her to be <laughs> Yes, exactly. Uh, I imagine as everybody is leaving, the chair eventually slows down and Benji just kind of flops off it. And as he gets up, there's like stars spinning around his head as he just kind of like fumbles around like, wait, wait, uh, uh, hang on, hang on, the, the, the room's spinning, hang on, as he just kind of like stumbles forward behind them. <laughs> I, I see you decided to participate. Uh. He doesn't have a response to that. He's just, uh. <laughs> like he's uh, probably got like the swirly eyes. He does. Mm. Poor guy's song... trying to catch his balance. If you're going yeah, to he's... throw up, do give us a warning. <laughs> give it five minutes. Maybe. <laughs> He's gonna ruffle his feathers and eventually just go back to being normal. Like, ha! Ah, that was weird. Anyway, moving on. Where are we headed? Laser tag arena. 
Right. Were you not paying attention? Frankly, no, I was too was busy being in... spun in the chair. Yes, of course. My mistake. It's okay, we all make mistakes. He just kind of pats Castrol. I was Castrol. being sarcastic. I don't pat me. <laughs> Eli kind of steps beside Benji. He's like, you can pat me as a result. You can pat me instead. Why would I pat you? You haven't uh... made mistakes yet. I don't know about that. <laughs> I would say they made a lot of mistakes. Or at least one very big one. <laughs> Oh, what mistake did you make? <laughs> well, uh, oh, I'm oh, really- the... I'm not good with knots. Oh, that's understandable. I also don't understand knots. <laughs> like, why can I not climb the walls? Eli looks at the walls and is like, they're really smooth. That might be why. <laughs> I was speaking about the daycare, but yes, I can, I can possibly try climbing these walls. He, he's contemplating. <laughs> Why has he been to the daycare? <laughs> oh wait, no, I remember. <laughs> Eli is silently contemplating trying to climb the walls now. <laughs> You know what, I think just to show off, Cast probably Quinnette walks over the walls and just starts climbing on them for a second, and then hops off and starts walking normally again. Benjamin is impressed that he's gonna run up to a wall to try the same thing. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> I'm gonna say, it's just not too Castle. cool. <laughs> he does a few jumps, but he doesn't stick to the wall. <laughs> Go ahead, Kestrel, gently face palms. <laughs> gently face palms. Uh. Sorry, Kestrel. <laughs> Excuse, you're you're not day. sorry. <laughs> X goes up to Eli and is like, Is it always like this here? <laughs> I don't know, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been here longer than I have, so... I mean, from what I know, it is like this a lot, but they made me keep me in the offices doing numbers and stuff. That's what I'm good at. I'm not good at the whole security thing. I think being in the office would be... Oh, dang it, what's the word? Dang it, pecking my brain, ignore me. <laughs> What's That's the okay. vibe of the word? I'd better. A better yeah, option, a go. grace Optimal? compared to this. <laughs> optimal, yes. I think working in the office would be optimal compared to working with this. Same here, but I've been working in an office for about, like, uh, what you call it? Ten years now? I'm a little open to the change, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry if this discourages you from change. <laughs> a little, but... Um, I mean, all things considered, things seem to be going pretty well. <laughs> and they kind of like, laugh a little bit, like... Eh. <laughs> Kestrel just nods. <laughs> He doesn't say it, but he thinks, give it time. Uh, so, for finding the area of the laser tag arena that you saw on the cameras, I want Harlequinette to roll uh, survival at advantage. Okie dokie. So, Lovely. who's gonna do it? The advantage, because they live here. What is your survival? Plus three. Okay, that's not too bad. Understandable. Okay, and then here's the advantage. Oh, 18. 
Yeah, so I'd say with an 18, you can easily find the, uh, uh, the area that, uh, Eggs pointed out to you on the camera. Um, and everyone can do an investigation check again. Yippee! Woohoo! Yay! Yahoo. Oh my god, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Poor buddy. 17 on investigation. This is not helping their yeah, case. Yeah, 20! Nice! <laughs> 12! <laughs> okay. 12. Yeah. Benji, You're being outplayed fuck? by Clown and Benji. <laughs> the two clowns. You're being outplayed by the clown, Benji. The I guy in a- hates it here. The guy in a fucking animal mask. Everyone except Eli. Oh my gosh. So Eli it's a, it's a Eli's a boy failure. He can't help it. <laughs> Eli with Aww. a seven and uh Kestra with a twelve. Neither of you are seeing much other than wow, this sure is a really neon and distracting laser tag arena environment that I don't think either of you are used to. Eli's a little overwhelmed. They can't take it. Their head hurts. Kestrel avoids brushing against any walls. <laughs> he doesn't okay. want to touch the neon. <laughs> I think might infect him. If it's too yes. much, uh, and Benji notices, he'll reach into his shoulder feathers and... <laughs> Never mind! <He's> fumble! <laughs> <laughs> What's he get? Woohoo! I can't fucking believe this. He was reaching in to pull out an extra pair of shades. Instead, he pulls out... Huh, he pulls out a script. He looks at it. He looks it over and he's just kind of like, huh. Drops it on the floor and he reaches it again. There we go. He pulls out an extra pair of shades. <laughs> Uh, who's he handing those to? Uh, to Eli. Because he's being overwhelmed and it's like, it's okay. At the nocturnal creature to another nocturnal creature, here, have some shades. Thank you, though I'm not quite nocturnal, but thank you. <laughs> Eli's still a little shaky. <laughs> They're doing their best. Aww. Poor guy. Kestrel isn't in sensory overload, he just hates neon. <laughs> <laughs> if you want if you want it, you could you Benji can pull you out some shades too. Here, he have some shades. Turn them down, but he's <laughs> does not he? okay. <laughs> yeah, he hands you another pair of shades, but unlike uh the shades that he handed to Eli, which or actual sun shades, you get these really crappy Walmart heart shaped shades. <laughs> They're hearts! Are, are the lenses pink? Uh, I was thinking black so that they would still work as uh, uh, sun shades, but yes, they are like a deep pink. <laughs> Astro just looks at those, looks at you. No, thank you. They're locked, and he puts those on top of the uh, flame shades that he has. <laughs> you are wearing two pairs of shades indoors. <laughs> well, it's so I don't see so much light. He's, you know, my eyes are very sensitive. Mm. And then even with that, he gets an at 20 and sees the moat. <laughs> uh, it's because he's wearing two uh, shades. That he is able to uh, have a nat 20. <laughs> He's <So>. too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> He's like from a hat in time when hat kids wear two sunglasses at once. The sunglasses I think she can get, I think you can get up to three. Yeah. 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 I, can you go up to three? I think you can go up to three, and that's when, like, the like, sunglasses machine breaks, and then you get fined. Uh, I've played anyway, a hat in time on. a lot. Yeah, moving <laughs> on. Uh, 
everyone else, which is Harlequinette, Eggs, and Denji, will see, uh, you know, the, the, the paper pal is no longer here, and there is no sign of Officer Bailey, but there is a trail of uh, colorful paper confetti uh, on the floor at this scene. And Benji can spot uh, more confetti uh, sort of a couple uh, lanes over in the maze and guess that maybe that's where to go next. Maybe it's this way. Well, X is like, oh, this seems incredibly straightforward. Do when did the child get confetti? Was there a Let's birthday party? School it. I think like Harley's yes, squinting at the confetti and then kind of like says. And a bit of like a like a tone that like they really almost want to be mad but aren't quite. It's like this must be to replicate the fact that a glitter trail led us to the last adopted child. A glitter trail. I just nod. Benji kind of like... his but he shrugs. All right. Follow the confetti. Kestrel is just blinking, stunned for a minute at the glitter trail that apparently <laughs> Kestrel doesn't know how to feel about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. What kinds of child abductors leave a trail? Apparently, this one. Um. What kinds, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> the kind that dress up as a rabbit. Uh, Castle doesn't know that yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's okay, nor does Benji. Mm -hmm. Nor does Eggs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Benji is able to uh, lead everyone to the next uh, pile of confetti where there is another little uh, trail leading forward a little bit to the maze before it uh, trails off again and you're left at an intersection where you can go either forwards, left, or right. Uh, but you can't see any more of the same confetti trail, so... Right. No doubt about it. Based on what, exactly? If it's right! In that case, I I think, and Eli kind of leads in the Kestrel, it might be best to go left in that case. <laughs> Agreed. I roll a perception for Harley to see if they see any like, thing out of place that might indicate one way is right, or left, sure. or forward. <laughs> yeah, every... Uh, everyone can roll uh, an investigation or a perception if they want. Benji is not doubting himself, it's right. 17. Uh, investigation or perception? Yeah. So? Uh, investigation's better. Wow. 21! Oh, very nice. Bird perceives. If the dice are nice is thinking. <laughs> if the considering nice parser is thinking. Nice parser is thinking. Yeah, it has to it's really thinking. decide how well it wants Eli to do. Eli! Dice parser. Dice parser, Eli please. Eli in universe is currently buffering. <laughs> is Benji gonna they roll? No, as I said, he's really confident in the fact that it's right. Fair enough. Dice parser. <laughs> it's just it's, it's dead. She busted. I killed it. Do you want to use physical dice? So we need to hold a funeral. <laughs> God, Can you try again? 
try re-rolling? I there don't know. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I accidentally messed up. That's what happened. So we can yeah. manually do the math it on that one. It ignored plus five. So be a seventeen twenty-two. I think. So were y'all rolling perception or investigation? Wow, you uh, can actually do math with this thing. Harley. Investigation for Eli. Okay. And then, uh, what was Kestrel rolling? Uh, Kestrel rolled investigation, and he got a 21. Okay. So, uh, are you, uh, Sim, you said it was a 17, but that's not counting the plus 5. So it would be a oh, 22. It's yeah, it said oh, the, yeah. Plus, okay. the plus 5 was ignored, Perfect. so. Right uh, at the bottom, okay. I did some math. So, All everyone... Right. Uh, except Harlequinette was rolling uh, investigation, so I'll start with Harlequinette's perception, um, which is, uh, I mean, I'm going to say the main thing Harlequinette notices is that there is a camera sort of pointed over the uh, laser tag arena, so you could try checking the cameras to get a different angle on things in laser tag and see if there's more... Uh, stuff to see there. Um, that's the main thing you would pick up with perception. Everyone else with 21 and 22s in investigation um, sees that there is uh, no more confetti, but there is a little scrap of like crepe paper caught on the edge of a corner of one of these walls to the left. Ah. Huh. Eli immediately hurries over and picks up the crepe paper, and they hold it up like, "Yee!" <laughs> they were right to go the opposite direction that Benji was suggesting. <laughs> Kestrel follows Eli as as they hurry off and gives a little satisfied nod to Eli. The equivalent of like, "Yes, good." <laughs> wait, so is wait was right actually correct? No, no, it was left. No, oh, it was left. Uh, somebody, please grab Benji by the tail and drag him behind. You know, yeah, Harley Quinnette like starts following the other two and then stops, goes back to Benji, picks him up as it starts following. <laughs> God damn! Uh, and X sort of trails Castle along behind the rest of the group. God damn it! Unhand me. I think Harley Quinnette kind of chuckles and says, All right, but I just would have hated for you to be left behind. <laughs> they drop him. Uh, uh. Don't like ever do another pun like that. And he's gonna r run to the front if he can squeeze past other people. He could probably just like run under Harley's legs. <laughs> he will. <laughs> All right, so you follow uh, the left uh, path for a while. You run into another little sprinkling of confetti. Um, so that's a good sign that you are on the right track. And then uh, you come to a... Oh, shoot, right, I forgot to ping watchers. Sorry, watchers. Oh. Uh, it's okay. We're uh, recording this. It'll eventually be uploaded. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to having anyone interested in being an audience for my D&D games. Oops. It's uh, okay. So, I got you. <laughs> uh, so. Where was I? Uh, so you wind up coming to one of the outer walls of the laser tag arena where there is a staff-only door to the security tunnels uh, that appears to have been propped open with a box. Hmm. Box. Boxen. <laughs> Boxen. Well, if there's a box, then that means it needs opening. 
right? Unless it's already open. The door or the box? The fact that... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I only caught box. Uh, the... The security door to the staff tunnels has been propped open with a cardboard box. Ah. Oh. Hmm. The fact that you have suggested to open the box makes me not want to open the box. <laughs> You're lost. And he's gonna come closer to, like, look at the box completely ignore that it's popping open a door. Yeah, it's a pretty, uh nondescript cardboard box. It looks like it was taped shut at one point and then cut open. There's like a partial label on the side that reads like, paper goods. Ah, oh, well, tragedy. He what instantly tragedy? loses his interest. It's for paper. Ah, oh, well, anyway. And he's gonna stick his head through the door, see what's inside. So it's it's apparently propped open with a box. Yeah, uh, beyond the door is a staff tunnel. It uh, basically cement hallway, runs left and right. There's some more cardboard boxes piled up against the wall. Ooh. Uh, Finally a room that isn't neon. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation. Yeah. And as y'all come into this room, you can roll perception or investigation. Kestrel is also gonna like comfortably rest a hand against the wall because he's he wasn't gonna touch the neon walls, but now he can touch the not neon walls. Uh, perception. Do a perception. perception. I'm gonna do an investigation or investigation. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Thirteen. Investigation. Okay. Sigh. So Harlequinette and Kestrel were doing investigation and <laughs> Eli investigation and then uh I think uh Eggs was doing... perception. Yeah. Eggs was doing perception as well. So investigation is Kestrel and Eli and everyone else did perception. Yes? Uh mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, uh, perception first, lowest up, uh, seven. Harlequinette, this looks like pretty well, actually, much- Actually, that was an investigation. Oh, that was investigation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 13, Benji, this is a, this is like the most boring room you've seen at the pizza, at the party plex. Uh, plain gray walls with like a little bit of white paint saying like laser tag to indicate where the door is and then- you know, brown cardboard boxes stacked against the wall. Um, with a 16, I see it's pretty much just that with the addition of a security camera pointed at the door. Uh, 13 investigation. Um, no, wait, 7 investigation for Harlequinette. Harlequinette doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. 13, Kestrel. Mostly just so okay. relieved by not having neon that, like, yeah, there's no neon hints jumping out at you. This looks like a regular room. And Eli <laughs> with the 23 investigation is the only one who sees something interesting, which is, like, to the right of the hallway. Like, both left and right, the hallway eventually turns and, you know, you can't see down the entire length of the building. Uh... But to the right of the hallway, you can see a little bit more of that confetti left uh, in an intersection of the hallway. Eli points forward and is like, look! And then they kind of rush forward at the confetti. They're very desperate to prove themselves this time. <laughs> and they're just they're like, Aww. there's more of it right here. I think Harley Ooh. actually like, looks up and then like wanders over to it. And looks at Eli and nods ahead approvingly. Understandable. Eli also gets an Eli approving nod from Castro. Eli, Eli gets kind of two approving nods. Their... Eli is currently waving their hands just below their waist out of happiness. Just me. Aww. Aww. We're slowly regaining Harley Quinette's 
expect. <laughs> what uh, did they, they do? <laughs> uh, Eggs walks up and is like, uh, do you think we should check the cameras again? We've passed at least one, which means probably Officer Bailey has passed at least one. Is there, like, a security room up ahead this right tunnel? Uh, or? yeah, I'll say, like, at the intersection, like, straight ahead is a security room, and, uh, to the left is more tunnel. Yeah, I want to say Harley Quinn it starts heading towards the security room to recheck the cameras. Mm. Yeah, and Eggs will sort of follow them in to also have a look. <laughs> So I want to have Harley Quinnette come up to the camera station and roll in our investigation, I suppose. Uh, yeah, Eggs will also look over their shoulder and try to investigate for anything. Uh, nice, nice. Yeah. I think, uh... Quinn starts flipping through uh, the 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 cameras in the neighborhood of Laser Tag, and Laser Tag itself seems to be clear. So looking through the staff tunnels around it, um, you see more of that confetti in a few places, and then uh, in a like in, uh. Uh, in a staff hallway behind the main kitchen, you do catch sight of uh, Officer Bailey holding on to the paper pal dummy, uh, walking uh, towards the kitchen area. Uh. Ooh. Wonderful. So, if you can figure out a better way over to the kitchen area and save some time, you don't have to follow this whole trail. Technically, Harley does have the um, city secrets feature that lets them like cut down on travel time between, you know, like an area they know well. So, <laughs> I could say they know a shortcut over to the kitchen. Mm hmm. Ooh. That would work. Ooh. Uh, are you gonna take everyone yeah. else with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll just do it, like, from, like they'll, they'll, they'll walk back out of the security room to look at over at the others and say, Bailey's over in the kitchen. I know a shortcut. Wonderful. Oh? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, the <laughs> kitchen. And Veggie's going to try and run ahead, completely ignoring the fact that Harlequinette is supposed to lead. Harlequinette <laughs> just sort of frowns, but then just sighs and shakes her head and just continues leading the others. Yeah. Should uh, I roll anything for this? Uh, I'd say you're fine not rolling. Uh, but I was gonna say, do we want to take a break at this point? Because it feels like a yeah, not I think a break place would be good. to cut to black yeah you break yeah all right all right a uh, little break and we'll, we'll we'll be back in a sec okay we'll a few back minutes these commercials there are no commercials <laughs> but we'll be back <laughs> be back <laughs> after these words. messages now a word from our sponsors we, we're, <laughs> we're not sponsored by anybody <laughs> oh Im imagine if i edit in some of the fnaf 6 ads <laughs> yes! Yes, do it! <laughs> oh, we'll see. Okay, break time.
are back. And uh, I'm just going to hand wave and say you all took uh, Harlequinette's shortcut. Unless, did they let Benji just run off on his own? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone except Benji took Harlequinette's shortcut and is now in the tunnels uh, behind the kitchen. Uh um, I guess I'll make a survival check to see how long it takes Benji to find it. <laughs> yeah. For the rest that's... of the game, Benji just will be meandering the tunnels. <laughs> uh, everyone else can roll perception or investigation. So it's, so it's gonna take you a while, bud. You've been to the kitchens oh. before, which helps, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna do a perception. Uh, percep Perception or investigation, or just perception? I missed. Perception or investigation, depending on what you're oh, wanting to look wow. for. Oh, Eli, Eli the, the bot. Eager, please. The bot really likes Eli. The Sometimes. Bot <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll do perception because I've only been doing investigation for Castro. Eighteen. I'll join the join the trend and do perception then. So I can only. God fucking damn it! <laughs> I, I'm so worried about my my guy overshadowing everyone else. But damn, he rolls well. It's he's, okay. He's... In gameplay, he's been quiet enough that he's <laughs> not taking the spotlight. But he is very efficient. That he is. He's do He's just doing a good job. I mean, everyone rolled very very well. So, you can easily mm -hmm. tell that there's, you know, some more trails of that uh, confetti around here. There's, uh, hmm, what else? Uh, the confetti sort of leads you all around a corner, uh, leading uh, away from the kitchens and further into, like, sort of the stock and storage rooms uh, behind the kitchens where you know, ingredients are kept uh, when they're brought and into a big uh, refrigerated cold storage room for all of the massive amounts of cheese and such that are needed for a pizzeria of this scale. And then, yeah, this is sort of like a warehouse style room with big metal shelves holding huge crates of various ingredients there's some confetti just inside the door uh but other than that it's a little bit cluttered and hard to see through but with nat 20s i'm gonna say eli and eggs can pick up on uh you know some uh sound of footsteps in sort of like the far left corner of the room uh to give an indication as to Hey, someone's in here. Specifically, that section of the room. Ooh. Eli hurries towards the boys. Immediately, as they like motioning aggressively with their head, like. <laughs> Zen, I'm sorry, I zoned out. Did Pet? Did Kestrel perceive anything? <laughs> not out of the u Not out of the order. Like not more than anyone else. Okay. Thanks. Not anything Sorry. special. Everyone, Kestrel and Harlequinette tied for 19, so everyone saw what Kestrel saw the same as everyone. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Eli is hearing footsteps and gesturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eggs will also uh, gesture and, you know, head in that direction, so... <laughs> I think Harley's gonna roll stealth and try and see if they can like sneak up towards the sound like from another way. Like that's a good box idea. Or whatever you know, assuming it's Bailey to box her in, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kestrel roll stealth. Is a... Can Kestrel also roll stealth and do that? Kestrel's an assassin. This is their. This is his thing. <laughs> sure, go for it. Can I crash into the ceiling just for comedic effect you... while they're trying to sneak? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm there are not ceiling tiles in this room. Because it's Fine, a cold storage room. We'll see. So... It's like an open vent, maybe. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll crawl into the... Seventeen. Yeah. Remember, like one of the ones that kind of like slide down. So you're basically like suddenly. Like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fourteen. Castro got a seventeen. Sure. Let me rejoin uh, the party. Mm-hmm. Seventeen. Yeah. This could. Uh. This could also. Yeah. So yeah, as uh as uh. Eli and Eggs are sort of running across the room, and Kestrel and Harlequinet are trying to sneak in opposite directions to box, uh, presumably Bailey in. Uh, there's sort of like the sound of thumping against metal uh, on the roof of the cold storage room, and then like a rattling noise, and then <laughs> then she sort of rolls out of a. Uh, a circular tube ducked along one wall out onto the floor. Beautiful. <laughs> He's gonna cough wow. up some dust and raise his fists above his head and go, Yes! I did it! What's the technical net staring with wide eyes? I found the storage. Kestrel just sighs. <laughs> Kestrel just sighs. <laughs> He's using his uh, Eggs is like quietly laughing to himself. <laughs> Eli kind of gently does a little clap. <laughs> just like. <laughs> like I think the... <laughs> Harley Quinnette can't tell him. Like, like it's hard to tell if they. They want to be annoyed or want to laugh. <laughs> to be Kestrel is oh. oh. Sorry, I was just gonna say Kestrel is firmly in the annoyed camp. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, to being clapped to Benji will stand up and just take a bow. <laughs> I don't think you should be proud of yourself for that. Why shouldn't I be? I found this storage. He doesn't answer. <laughs> uh. Anyway, the footsteps. Yeah, I feel like at the sound of uh Benji falling out of the vent, the footsteps stopped, and now it's just quiet in the room. You ruined their stealth. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? Uh, can Eli like? Is there anything around the corner that uh, can be seen? Um. Yeah, Eli, like looking in the direction of where the footsteps were. Do you want to peek? Yes. Yeah. Uh, roll stealth and perception. Uh, All right. Stealth first. All right. Plus in my stealth. Ooh. Okay. So, oh, nice. Nice, nice. And this is perception, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Oh, I got a nice one. Cool. All right. 16. Yeah, as you peer around the corner, you can see uh, Officer Bailey is sort of standing there with the paper pal dummy, sort of like looking back towards where Benji came out of the vent <laughs> with a confused look on her face. Not <laughs> sure what's happening. <laughs> Eli, like, hops out from over the corner, and they're like, gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, Bailey jumps me. a little, and she's like, well, you sure found me, but you haven't caught me yet! And, uh, uh, pushes <laughs> out of the door from cold storage out into the staff tunnels, and is running. Eli runs after her. <laughs> Oh no, she's getting run. away. We can Harley Everyone roll to run. chase. <laughs> what? We can Harley roll to chase. Like, will this be athletics? Uh. I mean, 
what's everyone's uh, movement speed, and does anyone have anything to help it first? Um, Kestrel's best... Kestrel's is 30, but as a bonus action, he can cast Dash. Yeah, Carly has 30, yeah. but he can bonus action Dash, too. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say... I, mean, you... I could cast Expeditious Retreat. Mm-hmm. If you want to participate so. in the chase, uh, of course I will. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass up on this. Mm -hmm. I don't think it <laughs> says anything. Uh, but Bailey's just gonna be running thirty feet per turn, so as to not be too outstanding. Um, uh, doing a sort of light jog through the halls. So yeah, Harlequinette and Kestrel and Benji can all uh, catch up to her pretty quickly. Uh, Understandable. Yeah. Yay, yippee. yippee. What are you gonna... going to try and tackle her feet. Okay, roll uh, athletics. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey. Seven. He leaps forward and he misses <laughs> and he's going to roll on the floor like a wheel. <laughs> I think oh Harley Quinette's gonna try and do a maybe a mix of <laughs> sort of like it would be <laughs> What do you think you would classify like like trying to like jump forward and snap like a pair of handcuffs onto her arms? <laughs> I'm gonna or say it, I'm gonna say it's following the same grapple rules, so athletics. Okie dokie. If if this fails, Kestrel is also gonna try that. Mm -hmm. Y'all are trying to handcuff the child. No, We're to handcuff too. Bailey. No, the. Oh, is okay. If anything, Bailey is pretending to be the child abductor. Yeah, I didn't explain it very well. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I thought Bailey was the child. I thought so too, I'm sorry. I did <laughs> I say that, that yeah. <laughs> it's, you probably thought it because I saw it. I'm actually gonna... Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Roll a different we're good, we're save clear for her with a lower modifier. Uh, no, that's still a 21. <laughs> so Harlequinette <laughs> leaps Bailey's forward to grab Bailey's wrist, but before you can get a handcuff on, uh, she manages to pull her hand free. Can, can Kestrel also try that then? Because yes. athletics is Kestrel's best stat. That's athletics, right? Mm -hmm. Get her ass, Kestrel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is Kestrel's best stat! Get my... Ten. <laughs> You are not immune to low it's rolls. A, it's a plus seven! <laughs> it's really, like, when you have a plus seven and roll low enough that it's not good well, enough, it just is just... <laughs> oh, oh, she rolled, she got a nine, so that works. Kestrel grabs her wrist and she tries to pull free, but he keeps wow. hold. And he can put some handcuffs on her. Uh, and like once the hand on handcuffs. Yeah, once the handcuffs are on, she stops trying to get away and she's just like... Ah, oh, well done, you guys. Yippee. Eli kind of shuffles up to the rest of them and is kind of like, oh, yay! That's for like, yay. You just know that like... Internet, like, is politely collapsing, but they look a bit furious that they weren't the one to do it. <laughs> uh, and Eggs kind of strolls Kestrel. up after Eli, and just like watching. I think Kestrel's gonna be like, now that we've caught you, can you explain why the handcuffs are colorful? Oh, that's just the Party Plex signature style. <sighs> so I've seen. It does help us to distinguish- you imagine the eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does help distinguish between Party Plex handcuffs and- Maybe any that were brought in from outside the party plex, either by law enforcement or nefarious individuals. So, you can tell if it's the rainbow with all the characters, you can tell it's supposed to be here at the party plex. 
Kestrel, Kestrel's eye twitches because that kind of makes sense and he hates it. <laughs> I'm going to roll a deception to see if you can hide that that bothers him. <laughs> you can do that. I'm going to say, Raises their pair and says, it's also less frightening to children. That's another good point. We really <laughs> don't want to be scaring off the children uh, when we're trying to do our job here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think an eight fools anyone. Him. You can see the, his eye twitches. He's, he's his fist ball up a little. <laughs> he just takes a deep breath. <laughs> Bailey just grins at him. It. He is losing his cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll get used to it here. I'm sure we can help you lighten up a little bit. You know what? I'm going to say that Harley has to digitate some, like, confetti. <laughs> to pretend to toss at him. <laughs> no! 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 Yeah. Him. He's... He's... No! He... he he, he glares at you. He glares at you. <laughs> Intimidation, why not? <laughs> Five! Oh no! <laughs> His rage just makes him look like one of those angry birds wrapped in towels. <laughs> yes, like his feathers fluffed up. Oh, <laughs> like literally just laughs. You don't laugh at him. Uh, laugh, laugh and just reach him. and pat his shoulder. Don't pat me. <laughs> Eggs is probably snickering in the back as well. Stop. Stop. <laughs> It's not it's not funny. Why is it funny? <laughs> Why is it funny? Why is it funny? <laughs> Good question. Why is it funny? <laughs> That's I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just entertained. <laughs> it's okay, Kestrel. <laughs> if I ever get if I ever get a job to sabotage this place, it's over for you all. <laughs> Harley Gwinnett looks concerned at that. It's like, what did he just say? <laughs> Nothing, don't worry about it. I think that was incriminating <laughs> evidence. <laughs> I spent so hard. You know what? I think I'm going to roll intimidation. <laughs> if you can, if the cloud out intimidates you, Kestrel, it's over. I'm going to be so upset. He's going to be so upset. <laughs> oh. Let's see, that's a plus three. Intimidation. Six. You, <laughs> oh, no, you beat him by, by one, one, but you point. don't intimidate. You don't int You don't. No. You don't. You don't intimidate him, but it's just slightly more intimidating. You don't intimidate him, but you, but Kestrel does get the knowledge that you beat him somehow, and he hates it. Harley <laughs> <laughs> Quinnette's clear, which is slightly more pointed than his. <laughs> he hates this job. He is having such a time. It's his first day, and he already hates it here. He hates <laughs> Harley he hates it from the moment he walked in, but he's like, you know, I need the job, I can tolerate this. This is now intolerable, but he still needs the job. Marco and I, like, backs up from him, straighten up, and then, uh, she claps her hand together and says, Well, job done. Yep, y'all did a pretty good job on that training, though. Of course, uh, not perfect. I have some notes. Uh, first of all, I think getting the handcuffs off again. Um, keys for that will be in the security rooms. Uh, you can use your employee badge to unlock one of the desk drawers and there will be keys for the handcuffs in there. Just in case. Are the keys also sparkly? Hmm? Well, they of do course. match the handcuffs. 
Of course they do. <laughs> you gotta be able to tell somehow that they're supposed to go with the handcuffs. Of exactly. course, how else would you? He's gonna start walking back towards the security office. <laughs> and Bailey will follow behind him. <laughs> you know what, Harley Quinn asked. So jauntily follows. Jauntily. <laughs> jauntily. Uh, jauntily. Eli's trapped behind all of them. Yeah, Eli's uh, eggs is just slinking around in, in the back following everyone else. Was Benji Benjamin coming with? And cash flows. Uh, I was going to say that in the background, Benjamin has a very fake book of laws which he has minor illusion, and he's flipping through the empty pages. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well... To what end? She... Well, well, she abducted a child, we have to bring justice to this. And he's like flipping through the pages. Uh, if you oh. do try to look into the book, some pages are empty, others have gibberish just written on them. <laughs> Kestrel doesn't even look at the book. He doesn't even look at the book to see that. He's just walking forward. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, when uh, when Bailey got handcuffed, the paper pal fake child fell to the floor. And is now just lying on the floor. <laughs> he, like, kind of picks up the little child and starts holding it like a baby. <laughs> oh. It is two paper plates taped together with crepe paper arms and legs. And... You can see that, like, one of the legs is ripped, and that's the piece of crepe paper you got. Eli, uh, does Eli still have the crepe paper leg? Uh, does he? Did you keep that? <laughs> I'm gonna say he does. And he pulls it out of his pocket, and he ties it to the broken part of the leg. Aww. And he holds it up like, it's better! <laughs> Holly Quinnette looks over Adorable. and actually like, smiles like generally at them and nods. They, they, they regain respect for Eli. Eli smiles just wide and says that they're so happy. <laughs> they don't get a smile from Kestrel. Kestrel is coping. <laughs> <laughs> He's fuming. Yes, he is so upset. <laughs> Uh, so you make it to the security office before long, um, and uh, sure enough, one of the desk drawers has a little uh, electronic reader on it, uh, which you can... Uh, is about the right uh, size and shape for a Raz watch to be held towards, uh, and there is a little keypad beside it for... Uh, animatronics that don't have Raz watches to put in a little code uh, mm. to open the drawer. I guess Raz it was watch. Kestrel leading. <laughs> yes. Kestrel's gonna just put the Raz watch to the drawer. And there's a little ding and the drawer pops open and inside there is a set of Rainbow metal handcuff keys. <laughs> Wait, does this imply that Frankie could access the keys? I don't know. Probably. Oh, no. <laughs> this is why they can't to... catch a child! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she was given that Raz watch uh, legitimately. Uh, Actually, she was. the Raz watch might it not must've... have employee access, maybe? Maybe. I, I think Frankie would find a way anyway. This kid's an artificer. She'll find a way. Oh my gosh. Jailbreak the Raz watch. <laughs> <laughs> she will steal it. And no, she will steal. If she's capable of stealing the thing, she will try to and then bring it over to her little uh, artificer station and just try and tinker with it. If all fails, she will just go full otter and start hitting it against a rock until it opens. Assuming that's how it works. It's a desk drawer. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
It's oh, I was e- thinking of one of those little things in game that look like uh, Freddy, and then they open up and yeah, the give, security like, badge. Some... Yeah, like in the yeah. title card. No, this is a desk Damn. drawer. I'm sorry, I think I catch only, like, every fifth word. Alas. 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 But yeah, she'll try. She'll certainly try, but that's for a future game problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she is not here right now. Frankie is a future right problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kestro. Imagining him looking down at the key with the most disdain possible. He's so upset. <laughs> Eggs He's walk- trying to cope. Eggs walking into the room like, is this your first day in Inkwell or what? He's not gonna answer that. <laughs> ah. He's just- <laughs> He's just gonna grab the keys. God damn. I was insulted. <laughs> he's insulted. He's upset. He's trying to cope. He's not having a good day. He's not gonna answer that. Uh, so Officer Bailey is standing there just sort of smiling at Kestrel, waiting for him to unlock the handcuffs. He, he, he's gonna take his sweet time. <laughs> he's gonna take his sweet time unlocking those handcuffs. Uh, she's like, I thought you'd have a little more practice at stuff like this, with your experience and all. <laughs> no! No! He's... He's insulted! He's upset! He's... He's not... He's trying to cope and he's failing! <laughs> Carly giggles. <laughs> he doesn't even bother glaring at Harley again because... <laughs> It's okay. He Welcome to the bullied the bird quarter. Quarter. He's he's being bullied. <laughs> he unlocks the handcuffs, and he just he puts his head in his hands. Ah, thank it's okay. you. It's okay. Benji comes in behind him and pats him again. <laughs> you know what Harley does too, and pats him on the other shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even tell you to do he doesn't even tell you to not do it this time. He just stop he just sighs. He just sighs. He's just so tired. <laughs> he wants to go home. <laughs> it's okay. We have the child abductor. The fake child abductor. The totally not real child abductor. Definitely I, not. I, th- I think She's definitely never something... abducted a child. <laughs> Not until today, when she abducted a paper child. I think something occurs to Kestrel as he's got his hands in his head here, and as he's being patted, and he just looks up at Bailey. Because <laughs> he remembers how I said the abductions had previously been marked by confetti. Is the confetti common occurrence with the child abductions. Glitter. Harley cl- corrects. It was glitter. Glitter. Is the glitter a common occurrence with the child abductions? Well, the child abductions themselves aren't a common occurrence either. It was just uh, the last time this happened there was glitter, so it seemed the uh, Decent enough way to leave you guys a little trail to follow. Okay. His head goes back in his hands. I you know what, think, I think these are yours. Uh, she holds out the rainbow handcuffs towards him. <laughs> he takes them gingerly. 
That's them in his hammer space. <laughs> when can I get my own pair of handcuffs? Hopefully never. <laughs> um, he you're... just turns to Harlequin offended. <laughs> uh, the, the handcuffs are only for uh, dedicated security personnel. Damn. Eli raises their hands. I'm dedicated. Do I get some? <laughs> You're not strictly a security guard, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> they lower their hand again. If so I ever need you to tie someone up, I'll just hand you the handcuffs I have. <laughs> I was gonna say, out of character, it probably would have been best to give Eli some handcuffs just so he would never have to touch rope again. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Uh, he was like, I mean, I can uh talk to Marie about getting you a pair of handcuffs. Right now, we only have a few pairs because it's still something we're only trying out. Um, but whenever we get more in stock, I'll see about getting you a pair. He like Is pumps Marie his fist the to themselves, like yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Is, Ma Is Marie the employer? Uh, Marie's uh, one of the managers here, so she's I sort of spearheaded this uh, handcuffs project. What was that? I need to speak with the manager. <laughs> sure thing, Karen. Uh, Marie should be <laughs> in uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> He doesn't. <laughs> he, he's. He looks offended. He looks insulted. He looks upset. What you know, like Harley is really like His vibrating. feathers are unkempt. <laughs> you walked right into it. He did. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. <laughs> I was like, vibrating from contained laughter. <laughs> Eli doesn't quite get the joke. He kind of looks over at Kestrel and is like, Your name's Karen as well. Mom. X is not containing his laughter and is snickering in the corner. <laughs> Finally, I'm no longer the subject of ridicule. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kestrel, you just made it too easy. <laughs> but yeah, Marie should be in 8 a.m. tomorrow, and you can talk to her then. Uh, her office is up on the third floor. I'll, I'll be sure to show you that before you leave for the day. He's going to go to the third floor and he is going to wait there until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh my god. He's spending the night here. <laughs> I think he's oh, going like to have a sleepover. Yeah! Veggie is also going to join the two, but that's. But also, due to the fact that, I, as I previously mentioned, Veggie is nocturnal, so he's going to be awake during this time. <laughs> <laughs> If Benji joined them, Kestrel's not doing that. Kestrel's going to go home. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kestrel shows up to, like, and starts standing there to wait. And then Harley Conette creeps out from around a corner and just waves and stands there. And then Benji comes out from around another corner. <laughs> Benji and comes he just out gets and up gonna... and leaves. <laughs> he, he has a deck of cards and he's like, Hey, while we're waiting, we could, we could play some sort of mix of I don't know, he kind of opens the pack. Uh, some sort of uh, mix of Pokemon, poker... Uh, wh where are you going? Pokemon. Come back! <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Kestrel just walking away going, no. 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 Mm -mm. No. no. Wait, no. I have snacks! And, no. you know what? I'm gonna have him reach into his hammer space again. Uh, I am very sorry, Kestrel. <laughs> he, he Kestrel is going home! <laughs> he reaches into his space, pulls out poker chips. I've got snacks! 
Kestrel's <laughs> going home. Oh, he's going back to his nice professional monochrome apartment. You know, I want to say that Harley picks up one of the poker chip, like puts it in their like <laughs> smiling mouth. There's this weird crunch sound, and then it's gone. That's awful. I love it. <laughs> Benjamin puts the rest of the poker chips in his beak and also chews. <laughs> Let you all decide what? whether they ate it or if that was just like a prestidigitation. <laughs> Eli tr kind of bites on one and it's just sort of gnawing on it for a while. Oh, Eli! It's okay. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> They are doing so hard. Just... Anyway, who makes wants to make bets? And he reaches into his hammer space and pulls out potato chips, uh, to replace the poker chips that they ate. <laughs> and that's the end of my gag. <laughs> Kestrel is going home. Goodbye, Kestrel. <laughs> Dodging off into the sunset. See you in the morning. <laughs> At eight a.m. sharp. At 8 a.m. sharp. <laughs> Walks in, finds these three idiots playing Pokemon. <laughs> They're still going. Just... <laughs> if they try to talk to him, they're just gonna get the same... No. Wait. No. You know what would be even funnier? <laughs> no. What? If the manager was playing with them. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going to go insane. <laughs> she's going to just <sighs> walk in, walk right back out. <laughs> there he goes. He hates this job. He mm. cannot stand these people. <laughs> he cannot stand these people, but he needs a wolf. He needs the job. What have you gotten yourself into, Castro? He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't even know the clowns are his bosses. <laughs> No, we don't ever mention it, not even once during this game. That's gotta be an FPS, though. I mean, <laughs> yes. it, was, it was hinted at. It was just not explicitly stated, and he didn't ask. Alluded to, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a secret, it's just he didn't ask. He didn't ask. <laughs> He's got a lot on his mind. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't have anything more planned, so... That's understandable. This does feel like a good ending point, regardless. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for playing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you for having us. And well, thanks to people who are listening. Um. <laughs> now or in the future. Zen, thank you. For Sorry. Go. I was gonna say, Zen, thank you for convincing me to make Kestrel. <laughs> yes! More people at the Zen party persuaded place. me. To... Yeah, you can thank Zen for that. Because Zen convinced me. <laughs> we right. needed more grouches. Yay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, well, everybody, say our goodbyes. Bye! Bye. See ya. Bye.